Today we're going to talk about the new Mars Core Master level. Is it fun? Does it suck? Is it easy? Is it hard? And we're going to go over some cool areas in this level. Let's dive right on in. So a lot of people that I've been talking to say that it is easier overall than World Spear, but I do plan on streaming a challenge run that will absolutely spice it up. And you'll see if you subscribe to the channel and hang around for that. But let's just talk about before we get to the final answer, some of the different areas and things. Now, the difficulty of this level isn't so much in the big open areas as much as it's maybe like the tight spaces and the incidental encounters. So early on, the clever, clever first back-to-back -back arch vial, that'll be brutal in classic mode. And I think it's really a creative thing how they did because I went up to that arch vial and I'm like, oh shoot, it's an arch vial already. So I kill it and then turn around behind me, whoosh, something else spawns, it's another arch vial. When you use doubles like that back to back, if a player is going in blind, what happens is they use, like, they see the arch file and then they're like, oh, I got an ice bomb rocket. And then they turn around and it's like, oh, there's another one. I don't have my ice bomb anymore. I have to use another way to take care of it. Thinking outside of the box with that encounter design, it. Of course, you know, if you have the crucible, that's totally fine too. The dread knight that pops through that door, like the jump scare style, that happened a couple times in these master levels, I noticed. Like breaking through a wall, Cacodemon, dread knight popping through the door. Didn't expect him. It's a pretty funny surprise. I thought it was kind of cool. And the goo, there's actually goo that came out of the ground and you had some enemies. It was pretty cool. A good little touch. Things you don't expect because when you're in that goo, you have to be able to handle the enemies pretty quickly and be smart about what you're doing. You know, when we go outside to the different arenas, most of the outdoor fights are pretty cool. They're standard fights, you know, might have a lot of pinkies and stuff, but they really make sure that you use that air and the space and the meat hook to move around. And these arenas are decent size in Mars Core, so you really get to just focus on getting around meat hook, movement, ballista boost, jump pads. That's really cool. And a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people have Mars Core as their favorite level. Uh, comment if it is yours or if you think it sucks, by the way, as, as we watch this video here. But there's a lot of cool things. The, one of the things that stand out moments is on that bridge, like the first cutscene when it, when the game was starting to come out, the arch vial. They did the arch vial there to recreate it, which is so cool. I mean, the cutscene's still in the game, or it was, so we didn't actually see it, but you get to fight the arch files on the bridge, and it's a callback to the old trailer moment which with old reveal which was really really cool and I, I could appreciate that plus a pretty nice bridge fight in itself now whenever you go into the tunnel before you get the bfg i knew that one was going to be nasty man i just knew they were going to do something but i didn't know what ah uh, turns out they put goo and like what a buff totem or something it's crazy and i'm like oh crap because you want to get to that totem but you want to jump over the goo and make sure that you can actually maneuver around while the tight tunnel and the fire and all the enemies that's what I'm saying, man. These tight areas really are what push the limits in this level. Really probably going to kill you more so than the big open arenas. I like the big open ones, but it's always nice to see a combat puzzle in these tight spaces and the big spaces and just to make you think on your feet a little bit, you know? The thing that I kind of wondered about the BFG platform, like I wondered before going in, what are they going to do with this platform? How epic are they going to make it? Because when you play a randomizer or one of the modded master levels, they make those places crazy and you almost need that BFG. Well, this time it wasn't too bad. Fair encounter. I did end up using one, which is fair. But I noticed like the BFG was responding. And, and from talking in Discord, other people are like, yeah, it responds. It's like, is this infinite over and over? Are they wanting to mimic that BFG original encounter and just have you shoot it over and over and over again? Except this time, or I'm just kind of unsure. That does make the area a lot easier when it could have been made into a very cool combat meat hook around out the outside and come back in and jump on the cacos but i mean i'm not complaining or anything like that it's pretty cool just wondered what else it could have possibly been and as an old boomer in my 30s this is really cool a lot of people are saying that there are og classic doom vibes with like waves of hell knights and pinkies in a fight and that's cool man to have those hordes that just take you back to the classics and while it is a cool touch i'm okay with not overdoing it maybe like you know once or twice for the novelty of it but ultimately i like the current loop that eternal has so you definitely don't want to overdo it but I'm really liking this level, by the way. Are you? Like I said, the mid-level was nice. It's just, it's, it's a good design all around. You get to like the buff totems and all that sort of thing, trying to figure out where they are. It's, it's a nice new fresh experience when you don't know where any of that stuff is and you're freaking out running around trying to stay alive. Well, not freaking out, you gotta keep it cool, right? 
You know, Kako surprise jump scares, good usage of the wide open arenas, cool. They do cool stuff like putting in key cards and extra switches, and it really sets it apart from the main level and gives it that classic vibe. Now, the fog and the goo for that Baron Tyrant fight, that was pretty spicy. That had me scared a little bit because I didn't realize like the sides, the stairs, and I'm making my hand motions while I'm talking about this, where you can go onto actually don't have goo, so your benefit is to be on there or over by the tyrant if you can like freeze them and quick switch your way, but you don't want to be caught over there against the dead end by the Baron, so you really have to think about it. Fog is uh, a little controversial in Doom, so you have to be careful how you use it. Make sure that it's not just like a cheap gimmick, but it's creatively crafted into the encounter. How's that for an almost alliteration? But it's not ending there, of course. Near the end, by the Slayer Gate, I actually went to go look at the gate to see what they did with it, and man, I got in a bad position, and they hit me hard. All the knights and whiplashes. Like, I feel like they were endless. I, I almost died in that section. But it, just me getting in that corner and kind of cornering myself was the worst possible thing I could have done. I should have been, like, next time I go through the level, I'm gonna go right on in, and try to stay safe, maybe go up near where the soul spheres are, keep wide open, I have that area to go where I can heal if I need to, like meat hook, grab, up and go up. Something not what I did because it was the worst. There were some cool sections later on, like the, the shield guy thing before the end was all right. I was meat hooking up and around and kind of almost went outside the map, so I didn't want to like push it too much. I wanted to be careful because I did not want to lose my run or anything like that <laughs> and have to start over or whatever since the whole checkpoint thing. But when you actually finally get to the last arena, man, I walked out there and that big portal opened up and you hear it going, making the sound. And I'm like, dude, that portal is huge. That is so cool. And then the fight begins. You start off with a couple tyrants and then more stuff comes through the portal. And it really feels like, I guess it's almost like an invasion because this gigantic portal just opens up and stays there and stuff just keeps hopping through it and jumping through it and enter into the fight. And the fight itself wasn't too, too bad, really. I've played some modded levels that were definitely harder there. It's okay. It was a good fight. You know, not too hard. I think they could have actually beefed it up being that it was the last fight of the arena of the whole level. I do think it could have been beefed up for sure. Uh, buff totems or if there were DLC enemies, those for sure there. But all in all, it was a good fight. I won't take from it. I think it was cool. And then, of course, after that, we go into the lost city of Hibeth that I wish we would have been to more. Dang it. Anyway, another thing I have to mention, too, is that the music in the final arena is fixed. It's the Mars Core music. I even made a video about it because it got fixed. No more Super Gorness, which is so nice because it was totally bugged out in the campaign. Uh, Lost City of Hibeth is not bad. You got some Cyber Monkey Bar on the way. Would have been a perfect area for Kakos and Pain Elementals. Though, uh, without a barrier, you could just meat hook past them. So yeah, what about having a barrier there? Like, blocking off the very first area and the last. You know, I knew you have your BFG there still. And, and all that stuff. But it would have been cool to have that area blocked off and make you fight in that hallway of sorts. Going over the lava, monkey bars, meat hooking back and forth and back and forth. Air demons. That would have been cool, but yeah, missed opportunity, I guess. It was okay. The final, final part. Two tyrants through the slip gate. Back again. A call to the trailer classic -y reveal thingy. That was a cool touch. I got to give him that. That was big props. Just like the arch foul thing on the bridge. Super cool that they did that in the level. And then you finish it out. And I think I'm definitely going to be playing this one again. For sure. With a sweet challenge run that you got to see. And we have a pretty cool member crew that you should be a part of. So if you support the channel by becoming a member, you get some perks and badges, emotes, and behind the scenes info, just depending on the tier you go. Got an option for anybody. If you just want to sign up, I will thank you personally if you become a member and support the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.